Here's another tutorial brought to you by Simple Life Outdoors Camping Gear Rentals in Nova Scotia, Canada. Hey everyone, it's Kiefer here from Simple Life Outdoors. We're just hanging out in the warehouse and today I have a tutorial to show you on how to fix a leaking air mattress. So let's have a look at this one that I've been working on. Okay, so this is our air mattress that I rent out. This is the Reactor 3.8 from Mech. And unfortunately, this one has been leaking. So you'll sleep on it for not very long, about a half hour and it's completely flat. Um, so what we're doing today is trying to figure out where the hole is so I can patch it. So I've already sprayed this pretty well completely with soap and water and the reason you use soap and water is because soap creates bubbles and wherever there's an air leak the air is going to push up through and you'll see your leak so so far don't really see a whole lot here um, let's give it a spray right around there and look at that okay see the bubbles coming up so we know where our hole is so it's somewhere right in about there so what we're going to do is just try and push some of these bubbles out of the way and we'll give it a little mark. And don't worry about marking on these because you're gonna put a patch over it anyways, so it's no big deal that there's a mark on your mat. Okay, so now we'll get the patch out that comes with the reactor um, and we'll see if we can get this stuck on. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, make sure that the spot you're putting the patch on is completely dry. I'm just drying off the whole mat anyways because it's not completely soaked, but you wanna make sure that the spot you put on is bone dry so that the patch is gonna stick. Okay, so here's our patch kit. Patch kit comes with two of these circle patches. Okay, so you can see we have um, circle that matches the color of our mattress on the front side and then we have this bigger patch to uh, match up to the color that's on the back side which is like a gray or a black. It also comes with some glue and even though for a small hole it only calls for just a drop of this to put on that um, we're going to add a patch as well just to make sure because i have a ton of these so i'm not afraid to uh, use them up here a little bit so we're going to take this patch and we'll put it over that spot now before we apply our glue we want to let the air back out of this so it is holding a little bit but we want to make sure that um, there's no air left and it's pretty flat so we're going up. You can hear you can hear the air coming out of it. And then we'll just close the nozzle so no more air can come back in. And now we have it completely deflated. We're just trying to pull that out as flat as we can. And now that we got our spot there pretty dry, we're just gonna take some of this glue. And there's always a little thing in the top that you gotta poke through. So we'll just take our pen. Try and pull, there we go, trying to make too much of a mess. And I'll give you a look. You can, you can see the spot, uh, hopefully. It's not much. It's honestly pretty little. So we put a dab of that on first. Okay, spread it around the area a little bit. And we'll leave that to dry. Okay, so that goes on first. We wanna wait for two hours for that to dry. So let's come back in two hours and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so our spot is now dried where I put the adhesive. And we're gonna take this patch and just do the same thing. Put it right over top. So it should look something like that when it's done. You can barely see it really. We just wanna make sure that that's nice and flat, try and get the wrinkles out of the way. In fact, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of air into it to make sure that there's no wrinkles. There. All right. Wipe any dust away. Make sure that your patch is also dust free. And just so we don't make a mess, take a little piece of cardboard, put that down there. Our adhesive, or fancy term for glue. 
and we're just gonna rub this kind of all over um, try to get some out towards the edges a little bit I don't want to put too much just enough kind of spread around here a little bit we are gonna apply our patch so we'll roll that over and we'll just try and clean up the edges here a little bit it doesn't look perfect but it's not too bad and it lives to last another day so there you have it if you need to patch up any of your thermarest your sleeping mattresses that's how you do it pretty simple and she should live to see another camping trip thank you for watching appreciate your support hit that subscribe button if you found any value out of this video whatsoever and we'll see you in the next one